Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the updates with this amazing close-up view captured by Starship Gazer. This is the orbital launch mount door destroyed during the liftoff moment of Starship B7 S24. I'm wondering how it looks like inside now. Talking about the damage under the orbital launch mount, Chris Hadfield said, having built launch pads of straw, wood, and brick, SpaceX is now going to try water-cooled steel. Take that, big bad super heavy. So we already know that the flight termination system was commanded on Booster 7 and Ship 24, according to the official announcement by SpaceX after the test flight. And the FAA confirmed that Starship's automated flight termination system terminated the rocket too, but when I was watching it live, it didn't seem to me like it was the flight termination system of the first place. As I said in this video, that it was rapid in schedule of disassembly, but I didn't have very close tracking footage to make my point clear. Yesterday when I was scrolling on Twitter, I found this amazing tracking footage published by Everyday Astronaut and captured by Cosmic Perspective. I'll put the link in the description, make sure to check it out. Here we can see that the bottom of the booster exploded first and there is no termination devices in there. We have two devices over the common doom of the booster and the ship. So after the booster bottom explosion, here we can see the flight termination system in action. So now we have the answer for my thumbnail, rapid and scheduled disassembly, flight termination system or both. The answer is both. Today at Starbase and captured from La Padre's Nerder camera, we saw Big Storm arriving in time to clean the orbital launch site and the area surrounding from the dust after the launch. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.